delving into the world of superfoods to find out which ones live up to their incredible claims. Ah, oh, Dale. Quinoa has become the trendy gluten-free product, but it comes with a high price tag. So why throw our money at it when we can easily buy cheap gluten-free staples such as white rice? Look at this. Quinoa, rice? Quinoa and rice, yes. Are you hungry? I am very hungry. I've asked nutritionist Dale Pinnock to put them to the test. There's quite a big nutritional difference in quinoa compared to white rice. To start with, there is almost twice as much calcium in quinoa Potassium, five times more. Iron, almost eight times more. On top of that, quinoa is packed full of protein, making it a favorite amongst vegetarians. But why should I eat it? This is probably the most important one from my point of view. It's the fiber content. Seven times more fiber in quinoa than the white rice. Obviously, with the white rice, the outer husk has been removed. That's where most of the fiber is in rice. Why is the fibre most important? For the simple reason, it has a much lower glycemic impact. That basically means the rate and the extent to which it will actually raise your blood sugar. Glycemic index, or GI, looks at the carbohydrates and the amount of sugar they send into our blood. High GI foods, like white rice, cause a rush of sugar into the blood. Too much blood sugar over a long period of time can damage your eyes, kidney, brain, heart and feet. Low GI foods, such as quinoa, only cause a gradual rise in blood sugar levels. This is due to quinoa's high fibre content. To test the power of quinoa to affect our blood sugar levels, Dale has wrote me and the crew into a little experiment. To make this work, none of us have been allowed to eat this morning. Have you eaten? No, no, so we're in the same boat. I feel so like I'm fine. about to punch somebody. <laughs> as long as it's not me, <laughs> it's okay. <gasps> yeah. First of all, to give us a base reading, we're going to test our blood sugar levels on an empty stomach. Okay, I've got blood. Who's got blood? I've got blood. I've got blood. A healthy measurement is between 4 and 5.59 micromoles per litre. What have you got? Right, okay. It's kind of a textbook, 5.4. 5.7. 5.4.3. So far, so good. We're all in a healthy range to start with. Now, we split into two groups. One team is eating a plate of white rice. The other team eating an equal amount of quinoa. Everyone got your gadgets at the ready? We're all taking new blood sugar readings at 15 minute intervals for the next two hours to see what effect the rice and the quinoa are having on us. The dream scenario is to reveal that quinoa, despite being nearly as high in carbohydrate sugar as white rice, really does have a slow and steady release of this sugar into our bloodstream. Ready for another? Yeah. OK. But half an hour after scoffing his rice, Dale's figures are spiking dramatically. <gasps> Nine. <laughs> that is ridiculous. <laughs> this is completely carpet bombing my blood sugar. So what my body's going to do then is secrete loads and loads of insulin. That's going to tell all, all of the cells to start taking in sugar at a really, really accelerated rate. Before I know it, my blood sugar's going to dip, I'm going to feel tired and I'm going to feel hungry. The test is complete and I want to see how the quinoa affected my blood sugar level and how that stacks up against the effect of Dale's rice. Gosh, so look at the difference there. You can see a massive, massive spike. That is a huge jump, but in a very, very small period of time as well. The results from the crew are very similar to ours and confirm that quinoa has a lower glycemic impact than white rice. So as grains go, is quinoa a winner? It's a much better option, yeah, because it has a much lower glycemic impact. And as we saw at the beginning as well, it's got quite a lot of other interesting nutrients in quite a lot of minerals, for example. So, yeah, it's a good ingredient. For me, quinoa is much more nutrient-dense and higher in protein and fibre. Bottom line, it's a far more nutritious alternative to white rice. <laughs>